Good afternoon, and welcome to the lunch break. A few minutes of observations and ruminations about staying peaceful in a world going amok. This morning, I'm stirring my coffee with my tungsten camping spark. It's light, and it's an omnipresent reminder to always be in the mindset of planning my next urban adventure. Most people have coffee in the morning. My workout and my morning shower gets me invigorated and going. So midday coffee gives me a um, few minutes during the busiest part of the day to slow down and as they say, just smell the coffee. Very nice. Uh, today I'm having a cup of uh, Life Boost coffee made of Arag uh, Arabica beans from Nicaragua. They are hand picked, spring water washed, sun dried, and they um, hand roasted and relatively free from pesticides and toxins. I'm drinking from my Notre Dame cup, given to me by a dear friend. Um, and I just, I just always enjoy drinking from this big cup. This coffee has uh, undertones of uh, caramel and chocolate and a fruitiness and its aroma is sheer perfection. Hey Google, what is the temperature in Thibodeau? In Thibodeau, it's currently 90 degrees. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 106. The high today is going to be 93. It's uh, cooling down a little bit because there is a uh, storm approaching. Hey Google, what is the temperature in New Orleans, Louisiana? The current temperature in New Orleans is 87 degrees. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 95. Uh, hey Google, what is the temperature in Sydney, Australia? The current temperature in Sydney is 49 degrees. The high tomorrow uh, is going to be, well, the high today is going to be 55 in Australia. It's always good to know what's going on on the other side of the world. Hey Google, tell me a joke. The missing sailor was a little too into swabbing the deck. I think he went overboard. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you, you, you get that at first glance, but you gotta think about it to really appreciate it. Today let's talk about change, the pace of change. Since the turn of the millennium, because it has been head spinning, but purposeful. Uh, since the Twin Towers fell in September of 2001, the move from duality and binary choice has been under attack. To be or not to be has always been a seminal question. We've taken that Shakespearean question as an opportunity to choose between binary choices or what we perceive to be binary choices. From buying a new car to not buying a new car. From getting married to not getting married. From working for a particular company uh, or to not work for a particular company. However, now to be or not to be is becoming a centralized existential question. To be or not to be is a literal existential question. The Twin Towers fell in 2001. The Twin Towers fell in 2001. 
and they were replaced in 2014 by the One World Trade Center. In the decade of the 2000s, flip phones and streaming video made its debut. In the decade of the 2010s, smartphone phones, smartphones became omnipresent. Since 2020, however, our homes have become our sanctuary thank, thanks to pandemic protocols and Zoom meetings. Now, don't get me wrong, change is good and I embrace change because as someone wisely said one time, the only constant is change. But this time, there's something nefarious going on. Or as my grandmother used to say, there's something fishy in the air. Yes, I, I, I know that we're moving toward a uh, singularity or the singularity, that merging between man and machines. We know that, and that's been, under, uh, that's been afoot for quite a while. But the powers that be are beginning to realize that a certain segment of the population will not be manipulated. As a rapper once uh, recently said, McDonald, I think is his name, since when did monkeys become people and people become sheep? Now that's a good question. Remember these lyrics or consider these lyrics. They're from uh, Bob Marley. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy because none of them can stop the time. How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. That's from Redemption Songs, written by Bob Marley and released in 1980. Uh, as an aside, Bob Marley died shortly after that in 81. That's a, an amazing song. Now, historically, a revolution, which is what that is about, that struggle between the oppressed and the oppressor has been a catalyst of changing for changing maps, for changing culture, and for changing the trajectory of the status quo. Case in point, the Cuban Revolution, the American Revolution, the French Revolution, the, Bolshe the Bolshevik Revolution, among others. Now, revolution is a Latin word. It means to turn around. Well, in my opinion, there will be no turnaround this time. The revolution this time will lead to global distress, the magnitude of which this world has never seen. We don't simply want to fulfill the book, to be ignorant of the change that's afoot. We want to be a part of that change according to biblical prophecy. You should know there is an army that is getting dressed in battle array. Get ready because the pace of change is about to ratchet up to levels never seen before. I am Dr. B, your Cajun connection from Cajun country. Just considering the pace of change and how it's ratcheted up over the last 20 years and how it's about to ratchet up again, ratchet up again. Stay peaceful. Know the Prince of Peace. And we'll see you in the next video.